outside of the southern hills. Really kind of cool though. Look at all that. See that right there? That's the inversion. See how it's kind of folding on through there? Look at that. This is what it's like at 4,500 feet above sea level. And just beautiful. Just freaking beautiful. So, all right, let's get over here. I'll take a little clear picture. some weather out here we get some really cool weather having a big inversion you know kind of nice we're about to go back in the shop where we're working on the big rv and whoo, big lightning flashes there uh going back in the shop we'll be working on the big rv the four and let's get in there right quick all right guys hey I just want to do another update we are currently working on these plastic salvaged fenders and what I've got is I've got some angle iron underneath the uh, uh, this treated lumber that's down there and the fenders are mounting they're gonna mount onto that so they go all the way up now right now we're mocking them up they were removed from a uh, 2008 um, mallard by Fleetwood it's the only thing that was worth a shit to come off of it so there's that 30 amp service right there um, our plywood is on it now we got this big piece right here that's going to be notched all the way like that and down and it's actually being framed back and going in here so this is recessed right in here that board was removed the trashy board it was under it little two by two and it was removed and now we have a a uh, two by three that is down there now and of course this one here has to be mounted and secured on here and the plywood will go on and mount to that and that way we have this rear compartment here that we can put a compartment door on and same on the other side so that's what we're working on right now I'll show you this step of installing this fender by using the plywood to secure and support everything so uh, very stout and the plastic fender is a full quarter inch thick plastic and it does cover the entire wheel down here that puts it exactly three and seven eighths inches above the tires and with the travel that we have on this trailer the axle travel that's perfect so there you go so we got three and a quarter inches of maximum travel slap in the frame so all right the rest of this is all pulled clean the edge is all off all the way around here we've still got to remove the metal off of this side which is coming off today and redoing all the original wiring running a ground wire because we will not have any metal on this it will all be a wood structure and of course there's everything here here's the original wiring harness here which we're going to remove and I'm going to put a small panel right here to access all of it and using a uh, terminal circuit I'll show you that right quick that is a good enough and heavy enough for 8 gauge so it's capable of 60 amps temporary and about 32 amps running which none of this is going to work for that this is only like 310 gauges and the rest in here are 14s and 16s so I'm just lighting and we're going to put this in and we're going to have a little door access door for it and we will run all new wiring and remove this original crazy plug here that we have no use for anymore because it's not going on a truck it's on a trailer starting the deck now and we are using 065 box which is light but strong themed see right there and the deck will be made with the 065 and we're going to have uh, the framing for it for the roof and of course 065 laying down here bolted to the original angle down there through the wood with rubber spacers isolation spacers and that's how it's going to be made so there's a little gap for the carpet to allow moisture or water to go away so that's the idea the siding will be at two and a half feet roughly two to two and a half feet tall 
going around here and then back over to the door and we're still considering door here or door here ain't made up our mind yet might go there possibly here so all right guys let's get this on and i'll show you what we got all right and now daniel is getting the metal off the roof is loose so that we can go underneath it a uh, foot with the new metal coming out over the porch and all the studs had zero insulation except right there at the bottom and that side over there had two little patches of it we're going to really make a big difference insulating this thing all right guys we'll get this off of here and you can see the fender piece that's already been cut for this side we're going to show that in in just a minute and we got the other side we're going to use as a template to put it in okay now with the top done and it ready for the rafters it'll run out this way we have now got the fenders boxed in and the plastic units put in and we're going to be foaming all of this in here with expanding foam uh to toughen them up and inside there i just got a piece of the uh uh, exterior grade OSB with the 2 by 3 on the framing like so but there is the fenders right there and here is the one piece three quarter inch eight foot long that runs all the way to here and we'll be cutting this piece in this piece in down here after the fact because I can reach it in there but the way that this is designed to go Put it in place here pardon my mishap of modern technology here but you can see that these are just old recycled they're not really old but they're just being reused so let me lay this in here and you'll see how easy it goes in once i get it around these little plastic edges here and we've got a few little small tears we're just going to fill that full and it's going to be have a metal wrap here you know as it is but we're going to fill it anyhow and there we go so it will fit up underneath the edge all the way down and this is the final enclose of the fenders the regular siding the other siding will come down and match everything and then this set here we'll walk over here and grab one we're going to have a set we've got a piece made for a brace but a set of these on the outside over the tires so it's going to be boxed out for it and layered and it'll look kind of nice so pretty dressy if you think about it big k for king thor kind of cool huh so I'll come off of a comfort fifth wheel and they're uh, they were a replacement set so they're only about a year and a half old when I got them and they'll last a long time so all right guys there it is there's the fender build I know I moved my phone around too much but there it is and that is not too shabby so over here on the other side you can see this one's getting ready there's the plastic fender being reused and there's all the frame out for it and right now we've got to add our studs and our cross members and everything and we'll be done with that part and we can begin framing this down and finish this because we've got the metal ready just got to start welding all right that is an update video of what's going on and insulation and wiring is next